magic to put on a better performance. Alright, so, as you put down your head and start playing, what exactly are you doing for your performance? Well, I put up my drum and begin playing it. But I use minor illusion to make it so every time I hit the drum, it flashes a different color. And with my mage hand, at one point, I'll put one of my hands behind my back and have the mage hand play for the other hand. Then I'll occasionally cast Dancing Lights to have make it look like there's a person there. Doing, um... Pretty much... Like, almost wearing the hat, almost. Or at least looks like it's holding it out while the mage hand... I get you. Sorry. So, yeah. Um... As the drumming beats all these different colors, and um, at one point you do just put it behind your hand, and it just continues flashing, and the rhythm goes, despite the fact that you're only using one hand. But it keeps the beat. Um, give me a performance check. 23. Alright, so, uh, throughout the... Uh, day, you do manage to make a full one gold and three silver. Nice! And with the extra cash, I might actually be able to buy something now. What would you like to buy? I think it'll cost... So, two gold and six silver. What can I buy with two gold? Not a lot, to be honest. Alright, well... I'd say I'm pretty broke, but I know the other guys are even more broke. Uh, so, yeah. I'm sitting here with my eight gold, bro. Um, congratulations. We're sitting here with a healing potion. That no, we're not even um, completely sure of the healing potion. I could just fucking heal myself. Well, as well, you figure out what you want about the songbird, as you figure out what you want to do with your money, um, Cyril and Theatrix. Yes. Um, I guess we're just going out for another walk. Okay. Give me another D twenty. I'll do it this time. Okay. Five. Five. Oh God! Oh, God. I'm going to keep opening up the wrong encounter table. A whale spawns. Wait, no. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> um, as you go about... You notice that there's... A... Well, just... Goose. Walking around. Kind of an odd sight. It's kind of... Goose. Yeah. Um, do you stop? Do you do anything with it? Or do you just keep walking? I look over to the boss. Alright, now hear me out on We can kill it and sell it to a butcher. No, 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 no. Hold on. Alright. You ever hear this little, like, kid story about this guy who planted beans in the ground and then this giant beanstalk grew up into the air and then he went up there and he stole his goose? That like golden eggs. You notice uh -huh. another goose down the street. Okay. I say we take it and we sell it to butcher. Yes. Look how bad it is. Yes. We're taking right. the goose. Hold on. Now hold We're on. We're gonna kill it first um, though. Okay, but like They're remember aggressive. what happened when we tried to help that kid? That's you know some other goose well, walking I'll... out of an alleyway. God damn it, just pick up the fucking goose and we'll kill it in the alley. There is a lot of geese around. What is going on? Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna pick up one of the geese and I'm gonna run it. Well, no, yeah. actually, we need to kill it first because they're mean, aren't they? Mm. Animal handling? Uh, Connor, go ahead with them. that. Um. I want a goose. Alright, look at how plump and fat they are. So, I would like both of you to roll me a perception check. God damn it. 
Am I in daylight? You are in daylight. <sighs> oh, yikes. Uh, Zeril, you notice kind of like looking around in between all the people? There's another goose. And another one. And another one. There's a lot flying in the air. In total, you quickly count 191 geese. What the fuck? That's a lot of fucking geese. And give both of you give me a perception check with disadvantage. Uh, Who? Uh, both, both of you. Us. Hey. Well, I already had disadvantage, so fuck me. Five. Okay, so... Uh, roll a 1d2, either one of you. You go ahead, I rolled the geese. I've clearly done bad. Oh no, the geese again. Shit, how do I do Okay, this? right, I will. Yeah, please do, because I don't know how to. Alright, um... Oh wait, it is a... Oh, I have to put a space. Whoops. Roll 2d10. Oh god, please, please don't be damaged. Please don't be damaged. Please don't be damaged. Please be damaged. Don't be damaged. Please do not be damaged. Okay, so yeah, you just see a lot of geese. That's just weird. We need to walk away. Okay, we need to go inside. Let's go to a tavern. We'll just steal some ale and blend in, okay? Let's go. Inside! What the fuck was up with all the keys? I don't know. I think this town is cursed. Maybe we've done something terrible. Maybe I... that girl was a witch. Am I tripping balls? No. Anyone else see the keys? That's what we need to ask. You do notice other people reacting to the geese, it's just people just kind of walk around them. They don't seem to be, like, aggressive. There is one kid that kind of gets close to one that is, like, honked at away, and the mom just kind of, like, grabs the kid and is just like, let's just go this way. Let's just go this I don't way. trust the geese. I don't inside. Stay inside. Alright. I like the most suspicious people in the fucking world. <laughs> so you just go inside. Um, out of the tavern. The geese are around a good part of the day, but uh, come nightfall, they are mostly gone. The oh, fuck was that? Alright, so, um, I to imagine that was influenced by everyone else's too. Just no one else reacted the way that you did. So, yeah, uh, it is night time now. Okay. So I guess that's all of you. The next day comes. It is the day that was listed on the note. Um. And Connor, you go first because you have the initiative. Um, you do know where the guild hall is. You, it is fairly early in the morning. You could probably do a little something beforehand, just not anything major. I feel well after yelling at my dad, telling him, you know, that I am going to get a real fucking job. I'm going to just head straight to there. Okay. Uh, you... Yeah. As you approach the Aesir Guild Hall, it seems to be a ship that is trapped in the side of the icy wall that surrounds the city. Uh, and as you kind of cautiously look at it, there is a doorway that's on the side of it. It's rather large. The entire ship is, actually. It's... It's something that could carry hundreds of people if it was actually on the water and not mostly frozen in there. 
All right. I'll uh, head inside. All right. Um, and let's welcome to the private chat. Oh, all right. So, as you open up the door, it seems to creak every inch of the way. Uh, you see a fairly simple and plain room, no more than six feet in any dimension other than height, which goes up to about nine feet tall. Um, there are two doors on the far side of the wall, and a woman sitting in a chair in the middle of it. She has long black hair that kind of makes an odd frame for her pale white face. Her cheeks are sunken with dark circles, uh, with dark spots circling them. Alright. She looks like the, um, what's the word? The person who sits at a desk to greet visitors or people looking for the job? Uh, possibly. She's just kind Stuck. of reading a book. And as your foot connects with the ground, her eyes just snap directly towards you. It's a little bit shocking at first, but not truly much of a feat considering the rather large, rather loud entrance in part thanks to the door. Her white eyes still blankly into yours, almost peering past them. Hello there, I'm uh, here for the, uh, the job. The, the poster. Uh, that, uh, yes. Is it that this is the right place, right? Yes, it is. All right. Do you have anything for me? Um, did the poster say to bring anything? It did not. Um, the, I don't think so. Um, was I supposed to? Well, uh, just, uh, she gives you a little bit of a smile. Just good luck finding your way in, then. She goes back into a book. Is she wanting a tip? Um... You know, in... In this society, whenever somebody says a gift, it's not so much of money, but... an item. An item. Um... I have anything. I've got a got a flask of some ale I stole from my dad. Um, as a gift, would you be interested in uh, this this flask? Uh, who long thin fingers on her hand just kind of like slowly move outward. Each one almost going as if it had a mind of its own. The movement's rather smooth and odd, almost making you a little bit uneasy. Her hand is out, waiting for it. I give it to her. Go through the left door, the right door, the left 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 door and then the right door. Alright, so said left door, right door, left door, left door, left door, left door, right door. Right? Uh, they all four left was in between the two white doors. I mean, not four, five. My bad. Alright, so, said five? Yep. So it's left, right, left, 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 right. There you go. So five lefts, right? <laughs> God damn it. Four lefts. Got it. Got it. Four lefts. Got it. Five lefts. I, I literally just said five. I, okay. My mistake was it for first. I read it correctly. God damn it. Sorry, the voice is a little thunderous, but I get it. Yeah. Five lefts. And I will do just that. Alright. So as you go through Um I'll close this, this, and this. Good thing I bought two flasks. Well, 
as you go through the different doors, you... It almost seems to go into a loop. Um, as you go through one, you find yourself just in the middle of the room again, except for this time... While it's completely identical, it's just the woman isn't in the chair in the middle of it. As you follow through with the instructions, you open up the last door, which opens up into a extremely dark room in stark contrast to the fairly well lit what you've experienced so far. And are you able to see? Just barely, but yeah. Well, um, uh, that's what you see. Um, hello? No response. You guys mind if I, uh, you know, make some light? Maybe, no, maybe I shouldn't. I feel like that might be a better impression. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm here for the, uh, the poster job. No response. Is there a chair? Uh, none that, well, you see what you see. It's gonna stumble forward a bit. There was a single fairly dim candle that rests in the middle. Um, looking up ahead, you see a large structure. Not quite sure what it is. It rises about... Well, you can't quite see the roof, actually, but you can tell that this goes maybe 15 feet up. Huh. Am I supposed to light the can- Am I supposed to light the candles? I'm guessing no response. No response. I'll use prestidigitation to light the candles. Prestidigitation has a range of 10 feet. Um. Yep. I'm actually gonna double check because I was just saying that from memory, but it's been a little it is bit. Ten feet. Okay. I'm six foot, so I'm pretty sure I can reach fifteen feet up. Uh, effectively, when it comes to range like that, that's just kind of out of it. If you could find something to stand on, then you could. Hmm. Well, I'm not about to cast Firebolt in here, so... It is a very large wooden structure. Yes, I'm not going to do that. So there's no chair. Um... Do I have something I could... Oh, I know. I'm gonna... What? Um... And at this point... The door opens up behind you, and I'm going to pull other people in here. For the record, I would have been like wadding up one of the posters I got as a lit candle and was about to light it. Okay. Noted. Got it. Oh, uh, hello. Oh. Hi. Welcome to the mysterious room of mystery. Okay. So. The morning comes. What do you do? Uh, we don't have much else to do. We don't have any money. So, I gotta nudge Voss. And... To the AC, I suppose, first thing. <laughs> the way we go. So, you head over to the ACO Guild. You do see the structure of... Well... Uh, did you... I yes, do the description of it with you. Okay, yes. good. Well, yeah, you see the ship encased in ice with the door on the side. Gotcha. Um, well, let's knock on the door. Right. You knock on the door. A long moment passes. No response. Right, so the door is not locked and you just open it. It creaks rather loudly as you do so. Um inside you see 
rather plain looking room, about six feet wide, six feet long, nothing too remarkable. On the far side of the room you see two doors. In between them is a woman sitting on a chair. Her long black hair makes a little bit of a odd frame for her pale white face. Chinks sunken, eyes with dark spots circling them. She is reading a book. As you step in, her eyes just immediately snap to you. Not too much of a feat considering the loud noise that the door just made, but as her eyes just stare directly into... Uh, who was it that opened up the door? Me. Um, as she stares directly at Seatrix, do you feel... Well, I would say cold, but that doesn't quite sound right. It makes you shiver to your very cool. cool. You can tell that she's not just looking at you or at your eyes, she's looking through you. Her eyes seemingly invading every part of you, despite the fact that she's just simply making eye contact. Uh... We got your note. Are we in the right place? <laughs> Who, long fingers on her hand, just kind of move out away from the book and turn over, showing her palm. Do you have a gift for me? A gift? Check. Uh, um. At um. this point, by the way, as if you are checking over yourselves, um, you might have noticed that Seatrix, you are missing your rapier and uh, your flute. What? I'm gonna look around for anyone else. Did someone sneak up behind me? Uh, this happened yesterday, now thinking back on it. You're guessing that the what? geese were used as a strange distraction for pickpockets. The 1d2 was to see which one of you was getting pickpocketed, and then the 2d10 oh. was to see which of your items it was. Oh. Great. Damn it. Um, well, there goes my main weapon. Not that that matters too much. I could just give you my dagger. Oh, I don't even need your help much anymore. I have a fucking dagger and a foil. It's fine. If you need a weapon, ask. I can't use those. Anyway. Fuck. Yes, um... Well, ugh, fuck. Do you have anything in your bag? I don't even have money. I have the healer's kit and the potion. What about potion? a die set? No. I I'm offer sure. her. Oh. That's all I have to my name. Alright, and as you... Start holding this out, the door opens up, up behind you. Uh. Wait for me to... Hi! Yo. So, uh, you heard the description of the guild hall? Earlier? About five minutes ago? Okay. Um. So, as you step in, you see, well. Right back. He's being right back. So. Uh, well, you see another tiefling and, well, a uh, human? Yep, human. My bad. Rather dark-skinned one, but, yeah. A dark-skinned human? Yep. I mean, uh, is that not real? <laughs> uh... This is a place of fairly fair-skinned people. How do I know if I've noticed her before? Uh, no. The person? Probably not. Um, you do see past them. This is what the door opens up to is a fairly small room that's about six feet wide, six feet long. 
On the far side of it, there are two doors with a woman sitting in the middle. Long black hair, pale skin, sunken cheeks. One of her hands is currently extended, the other one is holding a book. Uh, did you get the note as well? Uh, you do actually recognize them, now that you think of it. Fuck. I recognize them. Oh wait, no, I... had... I was thinking of Kanu's thing. Never mind. My bad. You don't recognize them. You look familiar in Final answer. Didn't. Final answer. Sorry. Uh, what did you say? I don't know if I said they looked familiar and then they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anyway, did you receive the same note about coming here? Do I have the note on me? I'm assuming I kept it. Uh, yes, you do. I'll pull it out and I'm like, yep. Well, she wants us to offer her a gift. And we don't have much. I flip out a gold coin or two. There you go. Uh, I do want to make a note that in this culture, whenever someone asks for a gift, it's not money. They want something. Want an object. Oof. I don't f uh, um, so, the soldier background allows me to take a piece of fallen gear from a notable enemy? Right. So, um, you would have a piece of armor from a Dragor. How, how the fuck do you pronounce it? Robin, you played Skyrim. Mm -hmm. how, how do you pronounce it? Jogger, yes. Jogger. You have a piece of armor from a Jogger. I hand that over. Alright. Um, she looks at you and nods, and then looks to the other two. Really, all I have is a dice set. Her hand is out. I'll give it to her. That's all I got, so I hand it over. Okay. She takes these two and places them underneath her chair. Um, she kind of just looks over to, um, so we'll, I will get these names down, um, and just kind of shrugs. Well, um, you're going to want to go through this left door, then the right door, then the left 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 door, and then the right door. She looks down, back down to her back. Left, right, left, left, right, left, left, left five times, right. I only heard three rights. <laughs> oh god. Uh. Can, is there anyone who can escort us, maybe? You can call? If you cannot find your way through my instructions, then perhaps you're not ready for the ACO. Uh, I go through the left door. Right. Uh, you open up the left door, and despite the fact of how the room is spaced out, you would expect to see another door off to your right hand side that was the right door, but no, it's almost as if you came through at a door that's in the very center, almost like the room that you just came from, except the only difference is there's not somebody sitting in the chair. It just looks exactly the same. We good. Okay. Left door, now right door. Alright, so you go through the right door, you see that again. Left door. Do you see it again? Okay. Guys, what was the fourth door? <laughs> uh, left, right, left. Was it left, right, left, right? Left, 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 left. left. Oh, sweet God. Uh, can I use 
Um, oh, can I, should, I use oh, history I, or something? I was about to say, can can I like remember what went on in the other room? Both of you owe me a history. Out? Okay, cool. Because I also need to be probably know oh. what happened in the other room. Oh. So, um, Citrix, she said. Yes. Left, right, left, 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 right. Okay, left. Alright, you see that again? Left. You see that again? Left. You see that again? Left. You see that again? Right. You open up the door, and it's actually different this time. Oh my god. <laughs> Please tell me we're just following her. Yes. <laughs> I know, so. Left, right, left, 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 left. Alright, right, and right. you come into this room. And I'm gonna move everybody back over to Connor. I mean, at this point, I could just move him over here, but I like my private chat being private. Um, but. God damn it! Okay! Complications are done! <laughs> the door opens behind you, um, Jackie, and you see three people come in. I was like, I was like, oh, shit! I, look, I put my I hands up. Hey, hey, don't shoot. 